Believe it or not, you can make more than just jewelry with beads. So today we're gonna to be making curtain tie hangs. These are super customizable and very simple. The materials you will need are some sort of string and four different sized beads. Today we are using two millimeter leather cord, 12 millimeter wooden beads, as well as 16 millimeter and 20 millimeter. What's great about these wooden beads is that there are many different color options on the website, so make sure you check that out. Some of these options you can see over here. We're also gonna be using recycled glass beads. I chose the Rainbow Speckled. They have a lot of in little fun colors in them. And these two can be found in many different colors and sizes on the website, as you'll see over here. Let's dive in. You're gonna to wanna to cut more than you think you need of your cord of choice, because it's always good to have more than less. You wanna measure out what kind of curtains you have, how big you need the curtain hangs to be. This is a size that I settled on for myself. And what you'll do is have a little hook on your wall and it holds your curtain. So we're gonna start off by tying a basic loop knot at the base of our string. You're just gonna take your end and fold it over and tie a little knot. So you just fold your string over and through the loop to create a tiny loop, like so. Then we dive in with our first bead. I'm gonna start with a recycled glass. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a cord that's smaller than the holes in your beads because that way you can actually string them. <laughs> And then I'm gonna go in with a 12 millimeter and repeat the process. So we're doing recycled glass and then the smallest wooden bead, recycled glass, and then the next size up. So I'm just doing two of each. So it slowly comes to the center of the larger bead. One more of these 16 millimeters a recycled glass, and then this will be the center, the 20 millimeter bead, the focal point, if you will, of our curtain tie hang. And then just repeat the process that we did on the other half. So we have our medium bead, another recycled glass, we have one more medium, 16 millimeter, recycled glass, then we go back to those small ones, the 12 millimeter, recycled glass, and then last two beads, 12 millimeter and recycled glass. Now, all you do to finish this off is tie that same knot you did on the other side. This would be a good point to go to your curtains and check and see if this is a good width to go around those curtains. You can always add or take away beads depending on how many curtains you've got going on. And then you'll just finish the process off with that same kind of loop we did at the beginning. So you'll just fold it over and then tie it in on itself to create that final loop. You can always pull it super tight, make sure you have it exactly where you want it. Keep in mind that this part you're not gonna see because it'll be behind the curtain. And then you'll just trim that excess cord off. There you have it, curtain tie hangs. Get creative, find some colors that go with your home. Check out thebeadchest.com for all sorts of different colors of beads and get creative. There you have it, our curtain tie hangs. We made it super easy for you. Just click the add to cart button below. One step will get you all the supplies you need to make your own curtain tie hangs. These things sell out fast, so make sure you grab them while they're hot. Allie Lovelace, I'll see you next week.